back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of the brand new released game Xenonauts 2 where the next tactical mission is going to be Crash Side 2 and unfortunately they don't have catchy uh, mission names so this is just going to be Farm Festival because the picture looks like a farm and we're going to launch our combat team. Ready, steady, Skyhawk, take it off. We're going to take the same uh, setup so far. I was actually quite happy with it. I wonder though if we should make Shattered, uh, Scattered, uh, Shattered Realm set of an assault, give him a different weapon. Same ordeal, same loadout. but he does have a rifle instead. The shotgun is great, but I was struggling with the range, and this here is for close range, has a lot of grenades. Rifle is for medium range, so let's try that. There's always a method to kind of fine tune what you're doing before you, before you get a good strategy going. So let's land and see if our strategy actually was solid. Da -dum -da -dum. Eliminate all hostiles and survive. Good. This time we're not somewhere in the desert. We are rather in the center of a small little town. Ender's Striker, aka Ender's Senders, goes out first. Zero on the other hand. Takes this side. Okay, Ender's, I think here. Let's hope this is not a faceless one. I don't know if they implemented faceless ones though. Shattered Realm moves up. He's fast. I like that. Epithelius. Oh, do we... I think we safeguard over here. Yep. Cover both sides. Moving up with Uncle Nuber, our grenadier. Got another one over here. So two heavies, two assault, uh, two uh, basically riflemen here and here, grenadier, two shield bearers. Sniper here. And uh, sniper here. I think we're okay for now. There are also civilians, and civilians typically eat the shots first. Look at that. Guy comes forward, is suppressed, immediately take, uh, takes a lot of shots. Should have switched onto the pistol on our grenadier. Long range shot from somewhere back here. Okay. All right. I see how it is. That guy took 11 points of damage and immediately healed 11 points. 
Wonderful. The poor farmhands are just running for their lives. Someone is shooting here. I saw a few particles. Good. That's it. That's an awesome hit. Three for th uh, three for three. And Ooh. Okay, well, did not expect that. Eighty percent. How was that? Target crouched. Okay. Yeah. Well, fair is fair, but also dies to us. Fifty-fifty. Can a miss? Hmm. Not good. Moving over here. I think we're crouching. Now, what do we do with you? 3 for 20. Or 1 for 56. Approximately the same uh, chances. Three for um, twenty is not that great, but it would suppress. It's already he is already suppressed though. So let's take individual shots. Okay, very well, that worked. Well, could have been handled the better. Could have used a higher uh, chance shot. I unfortunately messed that one up. That could have uh, hit. On the other hand, we're okay. Solid positioning. So someone was killed here, right? And we're seeing alien blood over here. So maybe there was a shootout and there is an alien right there. Possible. If someone comes to here, we would have... Epithelius. Zoe unfortunately cannot react, but... I think next turn we can, so we're okay. Still got Epi here with an overwatch if needed. Enemy is certainly in here. All right. Guy starts to learn his lesson. I like it. Took 16 points of damage. Unfortunately, healed 16. Very nice. Okay, so that takes care of one of them.
Is he crouched? No. He's not crouched, but we still can't really get him. Okay, that worked very well. Okay, both snipers shoot in this direction. Enemy spotted, like what I'm seeing. Quick shot. Establish some dominance here. And with another uh, nice little hit, we got this guy down. Good. We'll eventually start moving in further, but for now we're, we are where we are. And indeed, there was a farmhand over here. Obviously took a shot. Couldn't kill him alone. Good, nothing here, which means this side is semi-secured, but it also means we need to look into that direction. Start moving up. Okay, everybody crouches. Zero begins to move up as well. Unfortunately, we ha uh, Zero does have a very poor um, strength. So even with, with what we've given him, he's already overloaded. Jim moves up. And our snipers, for now, are staying back here. But it's very likely that someone is hiding in here. I don't like the idea. And the only way to make sure that that is not happening would be to get a shield on the ground. Got one here. Put one all the way down here so that we can breach. Jim moves forward. Yep, 
getting some aiming angles just in case someone's standing over here. Okay, good turn. Still waiting for the rest to show. We've only killed three. Uh, that there might be five more. Okay, come on. Good, one over there. Sniper moves over. Sniper moves over. And we are slightly advancing. Good. These look like little hives up there. I don't know what they are. Uh, what they are trying to create? Maybe it's a rabbit hive, rabbit stall rather. Maybe the aliens are here to double check if there are other tasty, tasty things that they could eat. Who knows? Let's get a bit more line of sight. Continuing to reload. Removing the remaining cover. That's not a great chance to hit. Good, well. Um, should be able to shoot over them. Okay, well, we were not able to shoot over ourselves. Dealt one exact point of damage. Great damage uh, from our magnetic weapons, but that's about it. Moving up. Look, I could take that here away and then start hitting uh, the guy. Is it worth it though? Maybe. 
We can suppress him. Never mind. Never mind. There was a flashbang, I think, instead of... Of um, a... A real uh, removal. Charges, I think, what they are called. We've successfully hit our own shield carrier more than the enemy hits, has hit them. Moving over. Ninety percent. You are kidding me, right? Good. Problem solved. Now get there a soldier and heal your comrade. Okay, moving up. Hunger's down here. I think our Grenadier, we will still need them at the front line. Okay, we're out of actions. Good, we're still not seeing the en uh, all of the enemies. They are potentially, I would guess, three, four more enemies left over. There we go, enemy spotted. It's a long shot, but it is a good one. And we're moving a bit closer. Move up. Well, well, let's continue to just get a bit closer. This is a nice angle, I like it. And I think most everybody moved, with the exception of uh, this sniper here. Moving up, and we're ready to go. Done. Enemy took damage, but enemy is very far away from us, so. Enemy decides to rather get back into the safety of uh, their UFO and heal up. Which is sort of clever.
Okay, okay, that changes the ball game. Drastically changes the ball game. Move up. And I would rather have an overwatch. Fifty fifty, I think we can take that shot. Good hit. Next turn we need to reload. We are very much moving up. Good. We got another sniper. Yeah, and I have to wonder, we can't um, commit them all to one side. We're committing them to the other side. All right, took away some of the unnecessary cover. One would say, at least, did not take away our own cover. A solid suppression would be great. Guy steps out, uh, is being shot at, immediately goes back in. Nice. What a great hit. But equally, what a unfortunate situation. One burst, suppressed. Another burst, miss, miss, miss. Not good. One burst, suppressed. Reload, and we can't really hit anything. Wonderful. Let's hope this kills them. The answer is not.
Uh, not good. What are we going to do here? Okay, well that looked very nice. Might as well get into cover. Move on a bit closer to the UFO. Okay, pistol overwatch. Let's see, this guy is suppressed, so it should be that big of a problem. The other one, though, is not suppressed. Shield gone. Oh yeah, these are two. It's not only one, it's two. Okay. Well, we gotta be careful on our left flank with the UFO. We just lost the shield. That's a solid kill. Reloading smoke. One, two, three, moves in. Okay, didn't work. But with a heavy weapon, it worked out very well. Good. We're hunkering down. Shadow Realm wants to push this one here forward. Nice hit. Nice suppression. Good. That is down. Now. Moving up. Yeah, 
yeah, we're out of actions. There isn't really much happening. Let's hope the last guy is not coming out guns blazing. Shitted realm heals himself. Then begins to move back because we can't always stand at the front line with the same character. But let's see if the little stun will be useful. Well, at least it's going to cover us. Good, end of turn. Come on. <laughs> it's also interesting the guy is running out. And I think we have six or seven people that could theoretically at least sort of react. No one, only one person is taking a shot. happening I need to shoot from here Good, Enders. Reloads the weapon, puts it on the ground. And is becoming a medic of sorts. In the meantime, zero here. It's a few more hit points, so might as well Use him as a normal soldier. Reloading sniper. Okay. Hmm. 
Is it all an elaborate plan for us to lose our ammunition? Oh, we got a new enemy. Oh, we got a new enemy. And that looks like a psionic one. Hmm. I wish we had a few more high explosive grenades. But we don't. There we go. Lots of stun happening. These guys are moving back. We're moving back. And we're Gucci. Epi moves up. Zoe Widowmaker moves up. Zero moves up. Jim moves up. Hmm. Okay, moving all the way over here. And we're good. They are now taking stun damage, unless they're coming out. At which case, they are taking plenty of overwatch damage. Let's try this. I nice sit. And striker is basically anchoring down. Epi moves up. Jim moves up. We just need a really good free line of sight. And if some of them are going to come out, so be it. Okay, so list. We don't have any more explosives. Unfortunately, that was the last grenade. Pretty sure that's not going to open the UFO. OK, 
Okay, well, we're going to go closer and closer, and at some point uh, that should be fine. Got another grenade. Uh, that's at least something. All right. We won't win via attrition. We basically need to kill them in one go. And fortunately, for whatever reason, they are, they are deciding to hide in there, potentially so that they can get us. It's a bit of an embarrassment. moves up good snipers have a very clear shot here good next one we need to let the smoke disappear and then we can go in So far these guys are, I think, hiding just behind these corners here, which is crazy if you think about it. Good, one more end turn, waiting for the smoke to dissipate. I need a different grenade type, one that is creating large piles of burning, like a napalm grenade. Okay, one more turn. Oh, wow. That was two shots sent down. I like it. Okay, Shattered Realm. Moves up. Takes a grenade, teaches this guy a lesson, I like it. More explosives. took longer than expected and to be honest not a big fan of them just hogging in the central chamber that's a typical behavior that we already had in UFO I remember just how often the sector it's were just sitting in their UFOs after they went down I don't know why alrighty after action report so uh, we're still seeing a lot of stats which is great that's exactly how it should be. And we get a Mentark corpse, which apparently is uh, the species that has psionic abilities. Soldiers will be granted award for bravery if they go on the crash site missions. Okay, we got that one. And this here is 
golden star for five cumulative kills. Cool. Billy G, good job. So yeah, apparently we're getting those little stat increases every single time. So the Mentark is a grotesque alien creature, enormously fleshy brain with a single oversized eyeball. Um, Mentark to be surprised, uh, surprisingly resistant, even in a single shot from a modern rifle could uh, catastrophically damage something so del delicate can only assume that these creatures employ a miniaturized energy shield for protection. Okay. 50 health. That's as much as our soldiers have. Can hover. And actually have average uh, skills. Okay. Let's double check what the mutants could do. So the civilians, 85 hit points. Well, that explains why they are always getting so much health. They have bad eyesight. Poor eyesight is distance, causing uh, their shooting to receive a major accuracy penalty for each tile of range, which is we inherently fought them the right way. Scaled skin provides extra armor, and we don't want oh, 50 damage with their claws. Holy shit. Nah, we don't want that. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. So we got more radar uh, range, which is great. Still more available next time we're building another radar to get to radar 3. For now we're fine. For now we're fine. So what else? Training cap uh, capacity is good. We have enough scientists, which means if we are going here to research. Can we hire more scientists? Hire scientists. Hmm. I don't know, uh, maybe a scientist is 25,000 per. We're at day 21, so soon it's uh, end of the month. Let's get a couple of civilians sold. Yes, please. Good, back to our scientific lab. Can we hire higher scientists? Fifty grand for a single scientist. Boom. Okay, let's get one. Wage costs are going to go up substantially, but Faster research is important. It always was in any XCOM game. Okay. Warden Combat Armor. Gives us 20 armor, which is great. Most straightforward way that we can protect our uh, our soldiers. That is fabulous. Laser weaponry or xenobiology. I think we're going with uh, laser weaponry simply because I like laser weapons. Hmm. 
In terms of production, are we still working on those machine guns? I think yes. Armor, Warden Armor, 25 grand per piece. Well, it's a bit expensive, but it has 20 armor, so it's twice the armor that we do currently have. Good, got our scientist. And a lot of people are getting assassinated left and right. We got two machine guns, so let's start with one Warden Armor. Uh, we'll keep the cleaner data. Machine guns are fantastic. You can sell them for 50 grand. But I think they cost... No, I think they only cost 25 to... To purchase. Hmm. Elenium, I think we will need that. Magnetic weapons might um, be handy later, so I don't want to sell them now. Back to the base. And let's just get another armor going. Two armors for now. Oh, look at that. So, minus 10 panic level globally if we do it right. Three days and it's an abduction mission. We're going to go on to an abduction, boys. That looks like a great mission for us. Plus, we don't need to fight with any of our aircrafts. Three days, 16 hours. Yep, almost there. Great. I think we could almost take the current team as is and run it back because they were vastly successful. Yeah, let me figure that out. And um, Shattered Realm still has a few hit point issues, but generally looks fine. So we could do that. It's interesting, by the way, you can get up to 10 medals, apparently. Tony here already has three. Daddy G has three as well. So yeah, let me get a team together. I think we're okay. Zero chance we might get someone else in because he has so little uh, time units, but I can do that until the next time. Thanks a ton for watching. If you like um, Xenonauts 2, then leave a comment uh, down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.